it's happening tinubu's house of horror this is happening and this is coming up on the tangent of um, election please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe what is really going on hmm. the national leader of the all progressive congress apc ashiwaju ahmed bola tinubu is battle tested and battle hardened political warrior who had weathered many political storm in his career dating back to early 1990s when he contested as one of the senators representing lagos in the upper legislative chamber and won in the butcher's third republic up and until the fourth republic where he emerged as the executive governor of lagos state during his latter period he took on some political jamborees and battle of survivor and won. The just, the least includes the face-off with the legality of Jack on Day of blessed memory and a proxy war during the Lagos Global National Primary Election in 1991 and ensure that in position of candidate Femi Agbola instead of Digbo in the, in the diffuse Social Democratic Party SDP did not work. A move that led to the emergence of late Sam Michael or Tedola of the diffuse National Republic Convention at the expense of the much favored Social Democratic Party SDP and his eventual candidate Yomi. Who was, later who was later presented by the party due to the no retreat, no surrender battle between Bola and Soremi. Tinubu was on the side of the latter against the former and was preferred candidate of Jaconde. Following the amendment of the anointment of the June 12th presidential election in 1993 by Ibrahim Badamusi Babangida and the subsequent transitions of the Third Republic by the then by the then Maximum ruler San Sani Abacha, who took over from a puppet internet national government headed by the by the then Shoki who died recently. A group of political advisors, which include late Pa Ade Kunle. I just say pa ayo ade banjo and others too numerous to mention took to the trains to fight the dictatorship with a view of honoring the election as a fair as the freest and fairest election in history of the country and restoring democracy in the land to actualize this they got a form that was then known as the national democratic coalition and as a senator in the batch in the then republic Sentinubu was a prominent member of the financial caucus the fourth for the regime until abacha expired in 19 1998 he later at the beginning of the fourth republic contested and won the legal state governorship election in 1999 in 2003 when there was a proposed agreement between the pan yoruba social political group he afeni ferry to support obasanjo on the second presidential term bid obasanjo who was flying the flag for the people democratic party that was unpopular in the southwest then allegedly back, backstabbed the group that was very crucial to the ruling party and then the alliance for democracy ad and no streaming of the government in the region or your ocean ondo ogun and ikiti state except one tinubu of legal state who remained like the pivot rock of gigaba gigata and the latter man left standing so political uh, tinubu has gone through a lot of political wars and we know exactly um, where he is at the moment and um, more that are still on ground with regards to uh, where what he believes and what he stands for and what could potentially be coming out of all of this you know Ashiwajo Ahmed Bola Tinubu is that man who has seen a lot of things in terms of politics and um, a lot of persons will rather prefer okay that um, Tinubu you know contest why some will say no he shouldn't contest so again it's it's everybody's everybody has their reason why they want tinubu 
others have their reason why they don't want Tinubu. Whatever the case is, nobody is a is a candidate that everybody you know wants all of a sudden. You know, even Buhari then with all the lies, all the pack of lies they came with, and uh, many Nigerians were swayed and deceived. Guess what? Not everybody was thoroughly deceived and you know fell for it. For instance, we saw the likes of pastor uh or bishop Oyedipo, who told nigerians then that you were making a huge mistake a huge one by going for buhari so not everybody was fooled by all the antics and all that was going on then and so nigerians have been you know uh people have been uh the, the issue of tinubu becoming nigerian's president is becoming a real issue that a lot of persons are talking about he's been the national leader of apc and um, he said becoming the president was his long life ambition i mean with he has been a senator he has been a governor and he has spent the maximum he can spend as a governor yet you know to top the icing on the cake he said he had a long life ambition and that is to ensure that you know um he he becomes the president of the country so tinubu has gone through uh political turmoil here and there a lot of waters have gone below the bridge initially uh shomole was to help him achieve some of those lines but we saw what happened to shomole you know how he politically just went down the drain and um tinubu has to uh form allegiance or alliance with other persons and right now we know that APC convention this uh, convention has been slated for uh, February 26 precisely where party um, members will be will be picked on into official po uh, offices which will now determine how things will go on uh, with primaries going on from there so there have been a lot and Tinubu has been close to Buhari they've been aligning and working together on this line on this regard and then um, we'll see how things progresses more because enough is enough you know we've seen uh, people who wants to be Nigerian's president but at the end of the day not every one of them meant well but does Tinubu mean well is the question we'll find out as things progresses remember every one of us must speak out to condemn with a strong voice everything and anything that could potentially not move us forward as a nation as a people and we must continue to speak against oppression if we want nigeria to be better there are things we must do yes there are things we must do we cannot allow those who continue to oppress us and push us down to continue to sabotage the whole system you know uh and that's why we must all now stand up and defend the truth, you know, and say this is not right. We're not accepting this and this is what we stand for. This is what we believe, you know, enough of people telling us they want to rule and they don't mean well.